Yeah, so I guess the hero went ahead and stomped you and sent you back here. You gotta forgive me, Count. I failed, yeah. I never felt less chunky in my life. <laughs> so our hero is real. Yes, a force to be reckoned with. Nanastasia. Nastasia. Nastasia. Sorry, I keep forgetting your name. The prophecy consult it and learn where the hero will go next. We will lay, lay a devious trap for him and bring him to his very knees. Blech. Yeah, um, I already sent Mimi to a site picked for that purpose. This pleases Count Blech. Excellent work, Nastasia or whoever you are. I have granted Mimi powers potent enough to ensure that she will obliterate this here. Wait, if you didn't even know she was going to see him, then how, how did you give her powers? How did you know she was, was she like waiting in line? Yes. Oh, okay. He will be helpless against her. I depart. Alert Count Black when this hero is no more. Bleh, heh, heh, heh. Bleh. See ya. Yeah, I'll fire off a memo on that. But for now, we have another item on the agenda. Oh, chunks. You got a sec? Yeah, so some minions in the Bowser organization are still resisting assimilation. So I'm heading out to squash the resistance. And while I'm gone, I want you to stay here. Yeah, you just sit tight and think about your recent job performance. Okay? Oh no, I have to think. Oh, I... Oh, this really tweaks my chin hairs. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. I think that sounded wrong. I don't know. I'm definitely going to be looking at that in the recording. What? How did I end up napping here? That's really what I sound like when I'm waking up. Oh. Wait. Didn't that nasty Count Black try to make me marry Bowser? Wait, 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 what? And then Luigi, he... Luigi! Bowser! Anybody there? Did I miss something? Oh uh, no, you're the only one of the wedding party left standing, it looks like. So you finally woke up, huh? Princess. Oh, you guys. Are you all right? Yeah, but who knows what happened. That was one crazy wedding. We can't even find his groomness. You remember, King Bowser? Oh, and that guy with the mustache. I think he had a green tux on or something? Yeah, um, Luigi? That's the, guy. That's the guy. We don't know where he ended up either. Thing is, most of us minions got all brainwashed by that black guy's assistant. Yeah, everybody's half nuts. Not fully there, just half. It's not safe here. We gotta clear this area, now. Private Koopa here will escort you, okay? You guys make a break for it. Uh, what about you? What am I gonna do? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna help my men. King Bowser would burn me to a crisp if I left him. Leave no Koopa behind. Good luck out there, princess. Hail Bowser! Farewell. Okay, lady. We gotta evac this zone. Let's roll. Uh, how about I go the other way? No. Hey, look at that. Ooh. 
So before we move forward, one little tiny detailed plot thing I think I should address right here and now is going through the first chapter, aside from Bestovius, there really was nothing pushing the story forward aside from the fact that there's only two ways to go, left to right and right to left. And I really hope that that's not going to be like a common trend across all of the chapters because it's going to make the whole game kind of long for no reason if that's the case. Anyways, I'll go into it more when we start seeing the other chapters. Alright, let's move forward. You, give up. There's no hope for escape. All hell, the glorious Count. Do not resist. Submit to his rule. You will love it. You get a cool pair of glasses. What's this insubordination, Johnson? I am your captain. Drop and give me twenty dollars. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna have to tell you that your orders mean nothing to me. See, they've already sworn internal allegiance to Count Black, okay? Yeah, y your loyalty to Bowser's only shell deep. And now you need to... So I'll just go ahead and pencil you in for a 10 o'clock brainwashing. You just messed with the wrong Koopa. I sir Bowser. You tell this to the Count. Bink. That was quick. Elbedek. Hmm, yeah. There. Isn't that better? So listen. There are still a few problem minions that haven't sworn allegiance. You be a lamb and round them up for me, okay? Thanks. I don't think a lamb does the rounding. I think you round the lamb. Yes, ma'am. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. This is going downhill fast. Did you just see that? They even broke the captain. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Look, lady, if they find us, it's game over. We gotta clear the area stat. Are you just gonna fall off? No? Okay. We. Oh. Oh, now I can fly again. What happens if I just f walk towards them? Hey, I'm surrender. It's locked. How dare they lock me out? I'll submit if I want to. Actually, I'll never submit. Let's see. I kind of like the area, but then again, it's kind of black. Okay, I was going for a thing there, but it didn't really work out, so... Let's see what happens if I continue going forward. Let's see how far I can take this. Oh, there's a door here. Did I take the wrong door? Hold up, lady. Our intel shows a ton of hostels behind that door. This route is a no-go. We're gonna have to find another way out. You're telling me that my whole trip down here was just to hear that? Blech. Let's go up. Yeah, 30 seconds lost. Oh boy. The bridge is cool. The void thing is kind of weird. I have a broom, so or umbrella, so I'll be fine. No, 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 it's a dead end. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Well, staying here won't do us any good. Let's turn around and keep looking. Oh, turn back? Yeah, no, your friend there has, has it right. This is your dead end. Hi. Who are you anyways? Fine, cover lot. Oh, fine cover, lady. I'm trained to ham handle scum like this. See ya, Bjort. Hey, you at least got glasses. All hell count black. 
Well, well, princess, you sure are lucky. I thought the wedding explosion finished you. Yeah, but this is the end of the road, and your ruck luck has run out right here. It's time you came and on over and got with the program. Come on, serve the count. Never. Yeah, that's great and all, but my hypno powers kind of say otherwise. Just sit tight a sec, okay? Because I gotta brainwash it just real quick. Bye. Bye? What? That wasn't on my schedule. Where'd she go? I'm starting to like you, Nastasia. Well, that's really not a deal breaker. The prophecy fulfillment plan is running smoothly. We have no need for her. Yeah, and it doesn't matter where she runs, since all worlds are about to fall. I'm starting to like her character a bit. I remember the day well. The room was warm. The whole place was at peace. Ugh. Ugh. You're awake at last. Where am I? Is this a human's home? Blech. Don't wiggle like that. I found you at the cliff base. You took quite a fall. You're a human, correct? I don't repulse you. I am the tribe of darkness. Why would that matter? Anyone with a heart would not ignore an its soldier injured soul. That was the day our paths crossed. That day, that was the day our tragedy was set in motion. Out the door I win. If you get a pure heart, you can choose to visit specific sections in each chapter. First, to Merlin's place. So, what they saying if I can jump it, if I jump back into this, blah, if I jump back into this door, I can go ahead and just, just select whatever chapter I need to go to. That'll come in handy later. Slowly go down the elevator. You return so soon? I can see from your faces that it went well indeed. Let's head back to my house so you could give the details. Please, step right in. Okay, okay. Let's head over and check out Merlon. So, how was it, dear friends? Did you find a pure heart? Yes, I did. Oh, ho, ho, such pure brilliance. This is a true piece of work. The one truly purity heart. Yes, we met Merlamina. She gave it to us. What, Lady Merlamina? You were well met. She is an ancestor of mine. She was the one who wrote the light prognosticus to contradict the dark one. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that one. Merlamina and those who follow her built this town. They are why we are here. M Master Merlin, b b bad news. Who was that? What is it? Get a hold of yourself, lad. You see, you see, a girl fell out of the sky. What? A girl fell out of the sky? What in the worlds? I don't know. Just please get on the elevator and come up there and see her. So it shall be. And you, Mario, come along. We may need your presence as well. Why didn't I just get carried with you? Can I 
Check out the light prognosis. Prognosticus. No? Okay. I know I can scan it with Tippy, but. Uh... Yay! They showed me where I'm supposed to go. They did say elevator, and I was gonna go up to the one to the doors. But I'm guessing this is the right elevator. But da but da boo. But I don't. Alright. Um, yeah, so I was just looking at the tower and she fell out of nowhere. Hmm, she does not look all that familiar. Not to me. Who could it be? Do ya? What's the matter? Oh, that was Tippy. Princess Peach? So this is the princess that the Count Black kidnapped? Yes. Yes. Well, the poor girl seems to have a rough time of that. We can be sure. She doesn't appear to be conscious. And she is shivering uncontrollably. What could the problem be? Oh, 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 I know. Mario, you must go to the chef named Saffron on the first floor. I am sure she knows a warming and revitalizing recipe for this for poor girl. Once she revives, she'll be able to ask Princess Peach exactly what happened. Now, off with you. Find Saffron, the chef, on the first floor. Oh, let's do a little backtracking. Something tells me this game's gonna love that. I haven't even taken the time to check out Flip Town. Flip Side? I think it's Flip Side. I need to go explore that pretty soon. I probably should have explored it the first time I was here. Uh, let's see. First floor. Anybody here a cook? Uh, you look like somebody who can cook. Good day. Mmm, no. See ya. You're just a store. Well, I'm on the first floor, aren't I? Hmm. So let's try you. No, you're not it. Am I on the second floor? Because I do see that one elevator with the down. So let me go check that out. -da 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 -da. Oh, I guess this looks like first floor material. Yep, first floor. Uh, that doesn't look like it's it. That does look like it is. It's it. You can tell by the cooking pot in front. Hello. Welcome to Sweet Smiles. Oh, sugar. Our dishes will turn out that little frown right upside down. What do we? What? A friend of yours is out cold? Oh, mercy. Well, listen here, sugar. She f sounds like she needs some spicy soup. All I need is a fire burst that can make a pot of soup and warm her up in a jiffy. Some stores sell fire burst. Just check out the shelves, wherever you like to shop. You bring me one sugar, and I'll make you something tasty spicy soup. But oh my, looks like you already have a fire burst. I believe I collected that in the town in the first chapter. Oh no, I think I collected it on my way out of Bestovius. Don't you now? Aren't you the enterprising one? Hand it over, and I'll whip up some spicy soup. Dink, 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 dink. Fire burst. So, sugar, you want to give me a creative dish with a fire burst? Yeah. One spicy soup coming right up, sugar. Oh, 
Oh, la 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 la, yum. Put it in your tum. Sorry about the weight, sugar, but it turned out just right. Slip up the fame proof spoon, fills eight HP and cures poison. Cool. This ought to wake up that sleeping beauty of yours, Shug. Give it to her as quick as you can. See ya. Will do. Won't ever talk to you again. I think I can do more with you, but I don't know. Up, up, up. See you back at Peach. And we're back. You guys just gonna leave her here? I mean, wouldn't you like take her to like a bed or something? You know what? It doesn't really matter. Time to give you something spicy. Ugh. Oh ho, it seems to have worked. Now don't bother me anymore today. Hmm, I feel like I just ate the most delicious thing. I haven't had a dream about such tasty food in ages. Is that a nod towards another game? Oh, Mario, you're okay. But where exactly are we? This is flip side. Hmm, okay. And who are you? My dear, I am called Merlin, and that is what's known as a pixel. Her name is Tippy. Did I ask about Tippy? No. Come, let us adjourn to my house. I would be grateful if you would tell us more there. Why didn't you take her there first? And then before I knew it, I awoke and saw Mario, you, and Tippy. Well, my dear, that is the most assuredly a tale of woe and troubles. Oh, Mario, what do you suppose happened to Luigi and Bowser? Who? Hmm, I suppose you're right. There's just no way to know. Or care. I just hope they're safe. Hmm. Why? Merlin, what should we do next? And one pure heart shall lead the way to the next. So it is written. There are still more heart pillars, so find one in Flipside, young ones. When you find the next heart pillar, you must set a heart in it. And when you do, a door to the world containing the next pure heart will appear. Okay. My intuition tells me you're the next door may lead you to the mysterious Merle. Like Bestovis and I, Merle was one of the ancients. We are long lost cousins. Yes, I have heard that Merle has long guarded an ancient and sacred treasure. If my instincts are correct, it may be the next pure heart we seek. I must tell you, the Light Prognosticus also speaks of her magical powers. So we just need to find this Merle person, is that it? Oh ho ho, are you going as well? You should not tax yourself. You've only just recovered, and it may be dangerous. Well, I can't just sit here and let everyone else go off saving the world now, can I? After all, the void that is spreading in the sky is my fault. Mine and Bowser's. Technically, you were brainwashed, but I'll take it. So I'm going. And that's final. I've made my decision. Peach has joined your party. Now you control not just Mario, but Princess, Princess Peach as well. Neato. I guess we need to find that next heart pillar. Hmm. This princess, princess is headstrong, to be sure. How refreshing. I insist you take this. Old key. A key to a door somewhere in town. Nice. There are secrets in this town that even I do not know. This may be one of the keys to uncovering them, quite literally, literally in fact. Please, use this key wherever it fits, here in town. My intuition tells me you should be able to use it very near my house. 
I will continue to read the Light Prognosticus and look up for any clues that may help. I am sure that musty old tome still has much to teach us. Yes, much indeed. Now Mario, Peach, do all you can to stop the Count's evil plans. Let's go Mario, come on Tippy. Yes. When playing as Princess Peach, you can use her umbrella a few different ways. Press and hold 2 while jumping and float down slowly. In addition, press up or down or left or right to use your umbrella as a guard against enemy attacks. When you want to change your character, set him or her to the menu screen. Whoop. Oh, uh, when it said... Good day. Good day. When it was saying that it didn't have anything highlighted that I saw, so... Wasn't this where I just came from? Uh, let's see, that's a key to going nowhere. And we already been in there. Hmm. Well, that's all right. I wonder, can I flip? What about menus? Chapter, cards, portrait thing, characters. Okay, so you can't flip as, you can't flip as Peach. Kind of weird, but I guess it's power that's been only given to Mario. And that's going to be it for this episode. I'm sorry it's a little bit short. I think it's actually cried on its time, but I think, you know, it's not really the most progressed episode of all. But I think I'm going to save the next Heart Pillar to explore Flipside as well, because I haven't done that quite yet. In this episode, we kind of just did a in-between events kind of video where it's just kind of leading us into the next one. If that made any sense, I doubt it did. In the next episode, we'll actually get something done. See you guys then.